about four weeks ago with the person that uh, basically is a representative for us, the person in Austin. And that person went ahead and had a meeting with the Attorney General, and some things were discussed at that time. The things that were discussed at that time were strictly basically what's happening with the Galan family. Now, you have to remember the people in office at this time, they don't even know how to spell Joaquin Galan, which says know what Joaquin Galan is. And that's an honest truth. The people we talk to, they look at us like, what are you talking about and what piece of land are you talking about? And these are the elected officials of the state of Texas. This all happened over 150 years ago, what we're talking about. Hace como cuatro semanas se le presentó la demanda al Estado frente al Procurador General del Estado de Texas. Y lo que está diciendo el señor Bobby es de que fue una sorpresa para el Procurador porque si no sabe escribir el nombre de Joaquín Galán, menos ha escuchado de qué se trata esta demanda o lo que se pelea en esta demanda. So, Nada más asistieron para poderles explicar. Eso pasó hace 150 años y nadie de los que están en, lo, o, o sea, elegidos los oficiales que están en el estado de Texas en Austin, no saben de qué se trata eso. Una vez más pasó hace 150 años, entonces se les va a dar un, este, un reporte a esos oficiales para que puedan entender el caso, para que puedan ellos empezar a pensarle now, you're probably asking yourself, why did we file a lawsuit in the state of Texas in communication with us? Basically, because they're the ones that wanted us to file a lawsuit. Which seems kind of weird. Why would they want you to file a lawsuit? Well, think of it this way. In the eyes of Texas, or the eyes of the representatives of Texas, you are its constituents. You elect the officials that come into office to what? protect you, protect your state, protect your livelihood. If a family comes in and sues the state of Texas, and remember, we sue the state of Texas, we're suing the citizens of Texas along with the state, because you can rise of the state. What their word was to us is, we could probably do better and look better if a suit was filed against us. And we took that reading between the lines as they mean to basically say face to us and look good in front of his constituents and they come to a settlement offer. The last words that we spoke with them from the Attorney General to our representative that was there was, it's better if we come to a settlement sooner than later. Those were the last words. Now, you probably wonder well, why would they say that? The reason why they're saying that is because of what we have on the state of Texas. The state of Texas cannot find a defense for what we have on them. And they have been trying a lot to find a defense. And they can't find them. Se podrán preguntar ustedes que por qué la familia Galán ha sentado una demanda contra el estado de Texas. Pues, verdaderamente es porque el estado de Texas se, así se pidió. Tenemos que acordarnos que todos somos ciudadanos del estado de Texas y todos los representantes y senadores del estado que son elegidos por nosotros, que somos la población. Y cuando nosotros sentamos una demanda contra el estado de Texas, verdaderamente estamos sentando una demanda contra los ciudadanos del estado de Texas. Entonces, el mismo estado, para poder, voy a usar esta palabra, no verse tan mal en frente de la ciudadanía, es que pidió la demanda para poder llegar a un arreglo. Ahorita el señor Bambi está diciendo, no hay ninguna razón por qué el Estado tiene algo, porque no tiene nada. La familia Galán tiene mucho más contra el Estado. El Estado tiene cero pruebas, cero recursos, cero documentos, cero todo para poder decir que apoyar de, de, a otra manera. Entonces, por eso se sentó esa demanda. Y ya mismo por el Estado de Texas. Y ahorita se quiere que se negocie un, un arreglo entre la familia Galán y el Estado de Texas. Y tiene que ser un arreglo rápido. 
Okay, now, now we, we got to the settlement part of what they're talking about. Do I have any figures or do I have any timeline? No, I don't. And the reason why is because you're talking about money that basically the states have, have had coming in since probably Spindle Cup, which is in the 1920s, 1930s. That's a lot of money that's been coming in. You're talking about a state that's the fifth largest economy in the world. Texas's economy is larger than many countries, and that's something big for Texas. The area of land that we're talking about that we believe belongs to our family is the third largest oil field in the United States. It's the seventh largest oil field in the world. So that's a big oil field, a big gas field. And it gives a lot of revenue that comes into the state. So with what we're doing, I guess you could say we could put a dent into the economy of Texas. That is why we're being very careful how we do this. Politics are involved and also how we handle ourselves is involved. <clears throat> A lot of people have wondered, well, why don't you all protest? Why don't you all do this, do that, and be radical? That's not what we're about. Um, we don't believe that's the way to go about things. Um, we believe the way you do things is you talk, and you negotiate, and you do things correctly. And we've kind of made this into a business atmosphere. And that has helped us along the way. We've been told by the state they appreciate the way we deal with them and the way we're dealing with them. Um, and the reason why is because there's a lot of other land grants out there. We all know that. And there's probably people in this room that are attached to other land grants. And the problem the state has is a lot of those other land grants go and they protest in front of the Capitol. They demand and say, this is my land, this is this. There's been bomb threats, there's been death threats. There's been everything that's happened at the Capitol. And we're kind of a breath of fresh air because we don't do that, we don't believe in that. And I think we, hide, we hold ourselves to a higher standard. And this is one of the reasons that they are actively negotiating with us and doing things. Can you tell?